Hello everyone and welcome back. Tone here, ready to continue our ongoing Dungeon Man's run here. Let's take a look at where we left off. Uh, it says here, the first floor of Malatosis, Chapel of Silent Penance. So let's see where that is. Ah uh, yes, we were in a like a graveyard mausoleum looking dungeon thing, uh, which is different than the dungeon types that we've been in previously, so... Uh, there should be some new stuff going on. Actually, it looks like there's like... At first it looked like blood, but is this like gravel? Or we have some uh, zombies coming out of the ground, maybe? I'm um, in a few turns. I wonder if that's what this animation is. Uh, before we get started here, um, since the last episode we did here, and the last session of this Dungeon Man's playthrough, uh, some people reminded me of a few things, uh, some people helpfully drew my attention to a few things, some people answered some of the questions I may have posed uh, previously, um, so appreciate that. And one of the things is we have our, our companion here, Beaker, faithful as always, helping us out as a tried and true ally, uh, familiar, pet, whatever system you want to consider it, and uh, one of the things... I noticed with this that wasn't really jiving with our build here is that uh, we have this bulwark ability where we really want to like stand our ground and force enemies to come into us while we build up defenses and that wasn't happening when they were like rushing ahead and then like enemies were just focusing and fight little fights with them and then we were standing here alone with all our defenses like not able to do anything so I had to move and drop our defenses and then like rebuild them when we got to the enemies which was a really awkward situation. Uh, but uh, so I was told that we could train them into like a ranged companion. Uh, and I think the way to go about that is to feed them ranged stakes. And we didn't even really look at her stakes last time. Uh, there was like a lot of uh, various like uh, kind of tutorialization things. So I kind of skipped past some of the this companion system stuff just so we can get back into some more of the action because we learned about like the towns and this stuff and um, saw some new stuff in the Dungeon Man's Academy and stuff. So if we take a look at our stakes and is there a... Is this a stake? Um, yeah, poultry. So we have our own tab for this stuff. We actually have a few like additional eggs. So I don't know what these will have different than Beaker right now. I don't know if all eggs start at the same place and like you just build them differently and that's what they do or if these will all be like unique on their own. So it could be worth like hatching some of these to see first. Um, but let's see what we have here. Okay, even tells you what these give them. Um, this one gives toughness, melee, and maybe thirsty chop. We have gutter chemist, um, increases range by one. So these, the gutter chemists, I believe are the ones that throw like fire bombs and stuff at you. These might help us get into like a ranged guy here. So let's see if we can feed them these gutter chemist steaks and see what happens. Um, so feed gutter chemist steak to Beaker. Eat up, little bird. Oh, I love these animations. Look at these uh, like, whoa, what a messy eater. Fantastic. Let's give them all of them and see if they just like start going like fully ranged here. I don't know if they have to learn a ranged ability first. Whoa, hold up. They got a new animation, so maybe they have like a whole new moveset and stuff. Sweet. All right, so let's see if they start doing ranged stuff, but I'm excited to explore this uh, companion system more, um, especially knowing that. And now that we're at a place where um, I feel like giving more time to it. I kind of skipped past some of this stuff before. Um, just because of the pacing there. I wanted to get into more of the action. But now we have a little break here to do that. And I like what I'm seeing. Um, one of the other things that people mentioned is I was like dipping our like toes into some dungeons and it kept saying like trivial. I was like, I don't want to do this. And we moved on until we found this adventurous one. Uh, well, so it was, I was reminded that these dungeons actually get more dangerous as you go deeper into them. So a trivial first floor might be, will get harder as we go down usually. So this actually might be a way out of our element as we, I don't know if there are multiple floors to this type of map. So maybe it's just adventurous on this like one big like surface level. But if there are more floors, we might not want to finish them all. Uh, we'll have to judge the risk when we get there. Uh, but that was another good point that was brought to my attention. Now, uh, before we do begin, because now I'm going to actually start moving the character here and 
I really feel like there's going to be some zombies here or something, so I'm uh, keeping my guard up here. Uh, but I, I'm just going to do my usual plug. Uh, if you guys would like to support this channel and my other projects, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. Uh, so feel free to give that a look. Um, but yeah, let me see if... The ground rumbles as dead stir. Okay, yeah, there's a zombie here. So maybe there's just like... Yo, Beaker hit the shameful zombie mans for 12 range damage. Okay, yeah. I can get behind this. Beaker is destroying these zombies. Uh, this looks like a great opportunity to use once it against many. Nine turns. I guess only three of them were in range. Beaker taking out. Dude, Beaker is actually doing more than I am. Okay, what is this guy? Murdered Lieutenant. Har. Um, they, they use high guard. Oh, come on, Beaker. You still did it. All right, we'll go up here and see what... All right. So this is like a... I'm going like waves thing. Dude, Beaker is like really strong now. This is good stuff. What are you, like a mage? Undead Frosty Bones, dangerous. Um, I'm actually gonna charge that dude. I think they're gonna cast like a dangerous spell to us. Um, because this makes them... It stuns them and they cannot make range or magic attack for two rounds. So I wanna de deny them that. If they even were gonna do magic attack, I have no idea. Um, a lot of stuff happened here though. We send an addle to everyone in the area. No, the two people here were stunned and addled. Oh, we have a cold weapon. So it says we they resisted our cold damage on our weapon because they are a uh, Frosty Bones. And Frosty Bones don't care about our Frosty attacks here. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, we got attacked for two melee damage. All right, let's go ahead and kill that guy. What is this? A mysterious artifact from antiquity. Uh, oh! Those are chests. I pass up any of those? We'll have to go around. I think there was one of those in the other room. All right, so let's get into a position. This is a really cool mechanic. It almost feels like a wave-based, or not base, but it, it feels a lot like um, wave-based game, sort of. Where you prep for like a wave of enemies and then deal with them. Which is really fun to see in a roguelike. Okay, yeah, there's chests all over that I've been missing. Is it possible that Beakers is too strong now? This is actually kind of insane. Beakers, save some for me. <laughs> this is actually insane. <laughs> I think it's just playing out like this because this area seems to its thing is like lots of like very uh, low level enemies. I think we prevented one of those guys from coming out just by having them stand over them. Or maybe Beaker just killed them before I even noticed they spawned. Oh, this guy's using my tactics. How come I don't get knocked back? I probably have an anti-knockback ability of sorts that I'm forgetting. Alright, so let's go back and open all these chests. 
Ever standing greaves. deal with all this stuff. Only open chest. Oh, doesn't look like I can get that. Nope. Interesting. That probably shouldn't happen. At least those don't look very like a good item. <laughs> that could have been like a tragedy. We're seeing a lot of armor here, which I like. It looks like like a lot of heavy armor. And we don't seem to be having too much trouble here, so I'm just going to keep exploring and then look at our loot. Oof. I had to say it before, right? Now we have a magic ring that I can't get to. It's too bad. I'm just gonna go strafe up and down this map. Make sure we don't miss anything. Beakers do their thing. It seems like we get like a higher level like enemy group in each one of these like stone areas. I have a feeling I am gonna miss things still. So I'm not paying like <laughs> I, I'm just noticing as I'm moving that I'm not paying like great attention and I, I could easily be missing a few of these chests, but we'll keep on uh, going here. bones. I'll uh, shield charge you again. A blood ruby targe. Alright, we got another mysterious ring. That's good enough for me. some enemies here to deal with. Oh, come on, nerd. Don't run from me. One suit against many. Eh, there are only two guys in range. Are you kidding me? Get back here. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Keep opening all this all these chests. second. I just want to... We're doing a, a sweep to make sure we hopefully don't miss too much stuff. Okay, you guys need to... Oops. Oh, 
Can't actually do anything there. Beaker's get, was getting a little too swarmed there. I wanted to help out. Although, it doesn't look like they needed my help at all. There is a stair down there. Oop, had a little uh, slow down there. Oh, that was actually a lot of damage. What is that, another uh, Frosty Bones? Yo, tag team. It's like I set up beakers for the ollie oop. That was awesome. Roshonium pillars. Heck yeah. That sounds like my kinda my kind of gear. Okay, that looks like just about everything. Dude, beakers was huge there. Uh, let's see what we have here. New scroll, potions, another mirrored scutum, Crashonium pillars. You don't have the fire resistance. Lock that. But I'm gonna put these on because they're just better. Look how look how much more armor and dodge they give us. I lock those other ones in case we want some fire resistance. Maybe they'd be a good swap. Uh, Blood Ruby Targe um, looks just worse than our current shield, although this is probably... Yeah, this is not a heavy shield. And it's not that much worse. So this is actually like a slightly worse shield that gives us like a bunch of extra stamina. Oh, where, where's the other one I just took off for that? Um, well, I'll pull it up in a second. I want to keep looking at the top here at all their new items. Uh, Ornate Captain's Buckler. I'm going to wait to identify that. Tin Seal Dome Warmer. Same thing we've got. Restitched Top Rag. 5% reduced mana cost for powers. Tin Seal Slammer. Plus two. Okay. Where are our shields? What did I have on here? Whoa, this is new. I'm gonna use that. It's actually a, a tower. That is funny. Oh, I must have opened my inventory and lost like the new status. There's actually way more stuff here. That's new. Like, we have a ring here. Can we ID this? Oh, here's unidentified consumables. Here's ID consumables. Cool. Accurate tin steel ring. That sounds like something we would use. Two melee damage, two range damage, eight defeat block, eight defeat parry. I don't know what defeat stats mean. I think I like our current rings better. Nor 5% incoming damage. That one I might be able to swap out. Two melee damage ain't... I mean, that's probably like at least a 10% damage bonus. We'll keep our current set for now. I'm going to lock this.
We have a big one-handed sword. 35 plus 2. Yo, oh, that's two-handed. I was like, that's a good one. Steel Shine Chest Guard. So I know this one's plus two, because it's better than our current one. Oh, there is a right-click identify option. I was actually, I, my instinct was to right-click that ring earlier. I didn't think it worked like this. So I can remove this? I don't know if that means it's cursed or not in this game. Ever stand and grieve, so let's lock some of this stuff. Probably bring them back to the academy to identify them. I don't know if like if there's like a with the like where identification system works in this game. Okay, that's back to where we were. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I have uh, poultry potions too. All right, cool. Oh, I should wear some. <laughs> I should wear like my chest plate. That would be useful, right? Goes in this slot again? I do not remember. Oh, is that where the fist thingy goes? I think it might be. All right, let's uh, continue on here. Beneath the Chapel of Silent Penance. Dangerous. We spawn right next to a slime. The gelatinous cubes are really dangerous in the last place we were in. Oh, that poison was a lot. Okay, so this is a type of map that we are kind of familiar with. Okay, so here's a, a tough guy. Jack the Beaten. Um, this is actually kind of scary because these guys were already dangerous before they were champions. I'm gonna move up one and then go into Bulwark Stance. Oh wait, no, we, are, we automatically Bulwark. So I think I, I need to time my buffs. It's like three tiles away. Oh, snap. They, they do that, huh? How much damage am I about to take? 11, okay. Now I don't have any buffs up. I'm down like 30% of my health. Well played, Jack. Jack the Beaten. It's gonna be beaten once more. Let's go. Holy cow. Uh oh. Hang on, <laughs> we need to regroup. They do a lot of cold damage, huh? Where are my blinking scrolls? Let's get the heck out of here. Turn that beaker's gonna die. Oof, okay. Oh, it put us all the way at the beginning. I, I trust in beakers that they're just gonna have no problems. Yeah. All right, so let's rest until healed.
Hmm. I need to manually rest for beakers. Okay, you're all healed up. So that boss is like right downstairs. Do we have a potion that gives us any cold resistance? We, uh, we have protection for ice. Let's go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna swap my shield out for the mirrored scutum. It gives us 34 cold res. It's only three block, which is actually that's a big deal in our build because we want to block. I think the cold res will be huge. We'll do that. Any other buffs we want to use? I think we'll be good once we do the cold res. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll go downstairs and read the scroll. I don't know if it's better. Okay, it's right over there. It said no. Very undead thing to say. All right, so now we have some ice resist. And then I'm going to shield rush you once I can. I'm gonna use battle fervor. High guard. Oh, come on, dude. He was able to shoot me and I couldn't even see him. I would have shield rushed you so hard. Jack the Beaton's coal damage is resisted by Tone Hack. Yeah, this guy's doing like no damage to us anymore. Significantly less. They were doing like 20 plus and now they're doing like 4 or 7. We dropped our high guard stance. Put that back up. Okay, they resist our knockback as well, but I think that's actually good here. We're out of battle fervor. I'll put that back up. I'm debating whether I should drink a potion. I think we can just... Eh. I don't... I think we can use a light potion, like this. I feel pretty good about it. No reason to risk it. All right. That was a great like fallback regroup and come back and kick some butt. You know what I didn't do when these things were around was use our one sit against many. That's actually a fantastic way to start that fight. I would have, and it would have turned it a lot. I'm going to leave that mirrored scutum on. I don't think I'm saying that correct correctly, by the way. Um, because these guys, there's still a lot of cold enemies here. Like, that guy did a lot of damage to us. Um, so much that this guy is a little concerning. Okay, took him down. Let's rest a little bit. Feels good. War Reaver, that was a cool axe. Death Sorcerer? 
Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Let's just deny you your magic for a turn. I don't need to death me. Let's rest to build up some stamina here. Okay, that's a little bit. Oh, fall back to the choke point. I'm afraid if I move back, Beakers is going to move forwards. So I'm just going to sit here and pull up our high guard. I'll use one against many here as well, which is a pretty good buff. Doesn't last long with only a few enemies there. But that's going to be a quick fight regardless. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, look at all this. We can set targets for beakers. They have a character sheet. Okay, look. It's a slider between range and melee or tough and swift. Interesting. Tough birds take lots of hit and call attention to themselves. Swift birds move around the dungeon quickly and dodge often. I feel like we want a tough ranged bird would match our playstyle best. These must be their like special power slots. Maybe that's what these are. That's cool as hell. And also, so I was I wanted to call this guy back to us. But I also just noticed you can pet the bird. Critical actions. <laughs> Okay, what's the death guy doing? They're doing cold damage as well. Frost armor. Does frost armor hurt me on hit? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's rest a little bit. Looks like a ghost over here. Displeased ghost. They don't look that tough. Drink from the fountain. Healing wounds gradually. 100 regen. I'm gonna bulwark up. This is actually a fantastic buff. Oh, we have another like bossy boss kind of dude here, a champion. I, we haven't seen a lot of these. It's cool to see multiple on one floor. I'm gonna hit up my high guard. What did this guy do? Brain Nomer takes 217 damage for his fellow soldier and displeased ghost is unhurt. Who did that much damage? Takes 197 damage. This must be a shield. Hmm. I'm gonna pop one suit against many here, even though it's only gonna last a few turns. Oh, whatever that was wore off. Um, Beakers, dude. You gotta help out. Uh, you know what? My, my guard is really low right now because I have the elemental resistance shield on. 
I've been curious how swapping gear works. So let me look. I have three Bulwark and 47 regen. That might be, give me an idea if time passes. Because it looked like it was free when I did it early on. Um, it still looks to be free. Wait, does this guy have a name? Brain Nomer. So they're not like Jack the Beaten or anything. Well, that regen was really clutch. Is that another uh, Battle Poultry potion? Full mess of beryllium, power pruning poultice, unhatched battle poultry, passionate poultry poultice. That regen was really clutch in that fight. Oh. Drink for more. A filthy mostly was waiting at the bottom of the pool, waiting for friendship, baby. Mostly alive, mostly meat, mostly a distraction. I should maybe put our mirrored scuttle back on. Whoa. Crawl now. The champion. Okay. I, I do not take this lightly. Do we have poison resistance? These guys are pretty dangerous, like, when they aren't champions. I do. I have three of them. Let's pop that. Let me get some high guard and battle fervor going. Let's kick this thing's butt. Spawn of Crawl Nail. Oh, it's splitting. Can't see much how much health they have. It, 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 I wish it would show that better. Although this will tell me... Um, it usually says like unhurt or hurt or something. Okay, I need some uh, regen. Okay, maybe I didn't, but no reason to risk it there. Uh, this resists poison, very clutch. I'm liking how we're getting some like big value out of our consumables. Um, I didn't see what else was there, but we're gonna charge right in. Okay, it was just you. Rest a tiny bit. Actually, I don't want to spend too much time resting. Not while I'm at full health. Oh, where did this guy come from? We can make our stamina work though. Ooh, a beryllium ring. Is that a, like a higher tier ring? Than the mysterious ones, I wonder? Those dudes are tanky. I do want to rest till mostly healed. Okay. Yeah, I like all the champions we're running into as well. Brian the Bent. Um, we're going to shield rush you. I'm a little concerned. Because even these, these guys normally are pretty dangerous. And he has like a ranged friend. In fact, I'll pull off a one set against many here. We want high guard as well. 
Holy cow, we're taking a lot of damage. 24 cold. Okay. This is like another, like that frosty bones. I think I have another ice thing, but I don't want to use it right now. So I'm going to blink away. Yo, Beaker's going to get wrecked over there. Okay, you're doing okay on health. Shoot! I was like, I hope you can last one more turn, then I'll wh whistle you over. No! That means... Can I res them, or is that it? I perhaps should have been more careful with Beaker there. I'm so sad, actually. Me and Beaker were just bonding so hard. Uh, now I have to walk through this without Beaker. I think it did say you could you could resurrect them or call them again. Ah, <sighs> wounded. I don't remember how that works. Yeah, Professor Hatch at the Academy will heal all your wounded pets for free. Hang in there, buddy. For now, I guess we can start raising another one of these things. Oh, wait, no, I can't hatch them, right? Oh, no, you can you can hatch them. All right. I thought I had to hatch them at the Academy. That was just because I didn't have a bird whistle. Watson? I actually like that name. Hell yeah, Watson. Give you them pets. And let's see your character sheet. Well, my dear Watson, I may as well feed you this other stuff. Wait. I want to give the toughness steak to Beaker. I want to get them tough. I don't want to give them melee, though, so I'm not going to give them this. Eh, I'll give this guy the tough one, too. We'll get more. It seems to match their build pretty good. All right, we have one tough enemy up here. They do cold damage, so let's put on... our cold resistant shield. Honestly, I should probably just use the tower shield and the cold res scroll. They have an armor up buff. Which, which one of our things stripped to their buffs? This one does. All right, let's drink or let's use another um, ice protection scroll. I don't use anything else. Not particularly. Oh, I should have used a poultry protection. That might have saved Beaker as we got out of there. Okay, yeah, that helped a lot. So now I will shield rush you. Whoops, I'm gonna go into high guard. And I'm gonna do this just, oh, you don't have your buff anymore. Actually, I think the symbol just sat here, or is that mine? Okay, he just recasts it. So I'm gonna strip your buffs. Whoa, what was that? He drained five strength? Attacking my, my bird. I don't know if this will be enough, but let's give them our... Uh... This <laughs> passionate poultry poultice. This liquid allows two birds to create a new egg through a completely unknown and mysterious process. Um, let's feed them the protection potion. Shoot, it was not enough. Holy cow, he hit them for 31 cold and melee damage, even with that 70% reduction. Is my health so low because they, they sapped my strength? Die! 
โอ้57. Why did this guy get so buff? Is it because they took my strength? What did I miss here in the combat log? This is really dangerous. Their range, so if I blink away, they possibly killed me still. Is there, do I have any like guaranteed outs here? I have my decoy mans. I've never used this before. It says it will draw enemy attacks away from me, but I don't know if that just means like... I don't know if he like literally like pulls aggro, like changes their AI to like target him. Or if it just means like if he's there, they, they'll attack them like they would like another ally. And because I... I don't know if that's like a guaranteed like I won't die next turn if I put that up because he'll attack it always or if it's just another target. That'll take some pressure off of me. Uh, because the latter means I can still die. And are, are any of the heals like a big instant heal for us? Dude, I have resist ice and that guy... Still did 57 cold damage. Oh, I have an extra action right now. Is that my ability doing its thing? You survive being taken to less than 20% of your maximum health. You get an extra action on the following turn. Is this the first time that's happened? Okay, so this is actually a free action. So I think with that in mind, we use combat blinking, and I want to break line of sight. I might even use combat blinking twice, just to get as far away as I can. I, I will, actually. And then we need to heal. What's our biggest, strongest healing we got? Heal and potion too. Put up our decoy mans. Yo, that guy got destroyed. Sixty three cold damage. Get me out of here. Those numbers are too big. Now I need to... Oops, what am I looking for? Where's our combat log? Damn, it's still doing it. I can't pull up my combat log without the game crashing. Well then. I was going to leave it. That was like going to be a good stopping point anyways. Um, okay, so I thought that was related to something we did before, but I guess I can't pull up the combat log in this game. I'll, I'll definitely submit that as like a bug report. That's actually kind of serious. I mean, it's easily avoidable for us, but it's repeatable and crash bugs aren't, aren't good. Devs generally like to know about those. I wanted to see if that guy was always doing that, that much damage or do, do they like A... Do you deal more damage when they get closer to death? That would be a neat twist for a death sorcerer. Um, they stole my strength. I, I figured they might be more of like a, a foom kind of guy, but maybe strength actually powers their attacks a bit. Definitely makes mine weaker. 
We're really lucky we survived that. I can't believe they were doing so much damage when we had um, such good... Maybe that Ice Scroll actually isn't that good of defense. I don't know how much it actually provides us with. I didn't have the Mirror Shield up, so... Uh, our, def our, our Cold Res wasn't as high as it could have been. Um, but I'm still surprised, because they did like 4 damage to us like at the beginning of that fight. And then they started doing like 60 plus. So we got really lucky that we only got dropped to 6 health instead of 0. Um, that skill that gives us a free action when we drop that low is actually mega clutch. Because I don't know if we would have safely gotten out of there without being able to blink twice for free. Well, not for free. It costs us uh, consumables, of course, but with before they could act. Uh, because them being ranged, I think it really would have taken us two actions to completely get out of their line of sight. Um, so that was really clutch. Uh, that tough fight. I, I can't believe we survived, but we got it out. I think we can re regroup from here. We're at full health at least. Uh, maybe we'll go back to the academy or something. But I'll leave this here for now. I actually wonder where this crash uh, is going to bring us back. Before... Hmm, that's actually a good question. I guess we'll find out next time on this Dungeon Man's run. Uh, but yeah, super fun. Um, really cool going into that area and fighting all these difficult monsters and champions and like using a lot of our consumables just to get through these fights, a lot of our skills. I was kind of haphazardly using my skills. Um, I th think I was using them like fine. Like I wasn't just like ignoring them, but uh, maybe I should pay more a little bit more attention to these if the fights are getting that difficult. Because, um, like, if we are getting down to the point where, like, one turn matters, which is where we got at the end of that fight, then, like, the order I use these in, whether I need to use them at all, like, when I use them, like, compared to the distance the enemy is from us, so I can, like, line things up so we get buffed at the time, like, they, they get, like, adjacent to us when we start dealing damage to them can be pretty important. So I might have to start paying attention to that stuff. Um, but... I think that was the first time we got, we got to use that skill that gives us buffs and a free action. We dropped to 20% health, so that was uh, really clutch. I suspect if we didn't have ice resistance, we would have died there. Because I only had 6 health left, and I was doing a ton of damage. And yeah, crazy stuff. But that was a lot of fun. It was really cool to, to explore the battle poultry system a little more. I'm really exciting, excited about where Beakers is now. Actually, yeah, that's a reason alone to go back to the... Academy is so that we can get uh, beakers back and we are about to level up which is fantastic We're really looking forward to see what our next ability is. I think we might be unlocking a new tier next time um, Level six, I think that might be the case. That'll be exciting um, But yeah, so that we went from adventurous to dangerous dangerous seemed fine as long as we really respected the uh, The champions and it was actually really fun fighting so many champions that Specific enemy was just doing ridiculous damage to though, so we need to be careful for that. Oh, my character sheet here shows us our resistances, so I can actually see exactly how much resistance we get from those scrolls. Let's take a look at that next time. Maybe it's lower than I thought it might be. It was cutting a lot of the damage from a lot of the guys, like in half though, or even like a third, like two one third, so by two thirds. So it felt pretty significant. Oh, maybe I had the shield up when I was cutting it by like two thirds early on. I don't know, but um, I'm glad that we can actually see that because I was actually kind of curious. So yeah, we'll not we'll not take that lightly. Lightly, we'll uh, look at our equipment and stuff and try and gear up a little bit so we don't get into more situations like that. But overall, that was a super fun adventure. Um, going into this uh, graveyard here, doing some dungeon diving in a difficult area, uh, running with our companions, Beakers and Watson. Great stuff. Using our consumables, having a blast here. So. We'll have to uh, get into more of these uh, shenanigans next time. But we'll leave this here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll remind everyone that there's some links in the description of this video if you want to find my Patreon to show some support, or if you want to find the Discord community or any of my other links, they're all down there. So feel free to check that out. Um, but until next time, I hope you all have a good one, and I will see you then.